Swedish NGO Spiritus Mundi creates meeting grounds between people of different social, cultural, and geographic backgrounds. The Hayatuna Aman project brings unique artistic programs to children and underserved communities in Jordan, providing outlets for creativity and self-expression. It's about you know, creating a safe platform for these kids and these beneficiaries to be able to tell their life story. The program also includes women and youth from refugee camps, as well as children from more advantaged areas. It's kind of like a kaleidoscope, a desire to look at the kaleidoscope of what Jordan is today. It's about connecting these pieces and uh, having a good time together, being creative together. Music changes people's lives, you know, fundamentally so. And if it changes people's lives, it, it also changes society. Pedagogues from Sweden and Jordan work together to bring growth and self-fulfillment to Jordan's vulnerable orphan and refugee children. Singer Sahar Al-Khalifa teaches singing and music. What I am trying to do here with this project with the kids is to let them know how is music it's important and how to use music, how they use music. So that's why I give them a kind of knowledge about music and rhythm because they can express themselves after uh, by using this technique. You can, we can use the song to tell stories, to tell science, to tell numbers, to educate kids with everything. So it's, a, it's kind of a tool for, for them. 200 children from orphanages and socially disadvantaged areas will participate in a series of workshops over a span of two years. A live performance celebrating the results will be featured on national stages. We're trying to convince them that it's, uh, it's not just uh, dancing, it's, it's expressing yourself. And um, they can see like, that the kids are like, even the lyrics when they write the songs, they're amazing, they're re they reflect what they feel and about Jordan and how much they belong and, uh, and uh, their rights. Rapper Ostaz Sam grew up in a Palestinian refugee camp and went on to be a finalist on Arabs Got Talent. Sam and Swedish musician David Rothland teach songwriting. Rap is talk about like the experience in life. You know, life even is, is happy or not happy, we're happy because we listen to real songs, you know, to real life. And this is hip hop, this is me, this is Hayatu. Music is just a, a you know, gateway to, to ex expressing yourself and being creative. That's why I'm trying to use this to make them understand they have a mind of their own that they can use. This is about putting words to your emotions of what you feel when you hear the beat. Okay? So this is what music is about in songwriting. Satisfaction you get when you do something that you really love doing. It's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's worth everything. So if I just could give them a small taste of that feeling, I know what, they, what it could do for them. Maxim Ayad is from the Ukraine. He teaches hip-hop and dance. The most interesting thing for me that you know you're doing something for the whole region here, you know, like there is not just you just a teacher. Make some step, make yourself work. You have a chance now to learn something new in your life, use this chance. We have to work 
and maximum change the child's like you know wishes mind uh, his passion about life you know with the help of art to make him loving art for upcoming his future i change i help i support someone i make someone happy then i will be feeling myself successful and happy This is what the kids, they, this is what they need. They need to, be, to feel involved and to feel part of this community and to feel that they are heard. Hayatuna's unique and groundbreaking approach helps disadvantaged youth in Jordan find their voice and improve their lives. Hayatuna in Arabic means uh, our life. It's a result of the dream 